Now we're getting into amplification. Right back here, we have a crate two driven 50 um, with chorus. We'll explain what the chorus is in a second. Uh, basically, a tube amplifier is a little bit different than a transistor amp. They're the transistor amp has a little bit different tone than a tube amp. Uh, I myself enjoy tube amps a little bit more than the transistor ones, but we won't dwell on that too much because we want to get in the lesson here. Uh, this is a drive here, which is a distortion of this amplifier. And what happens with this, uh, with the drive of this, if you listen real close, it breaks up with the distortion. When it's turned down, it's a cleaner sound, but when you turn it up, hear that distortion, which is, distortion is a breakup or the distorted, like if you look in a distorted mirror, just the image isn't as clear. And a lot of people use a lot of distortion to kind of hide behind uh, what they're actually playing. Uh, I choose to use a little bit cleaner side of the amplifier because that way you can hear basically every note you're doing. This uh, thing right here, the shape, controls uh, the different aspects of the tone. Instead of a, a bunch of tone knobs, it has a shape. And the level, of course, to annoy your neighbors, you can turn it up to 10. Uh, this is channel B, which is a cleaner side of the amplifier. We have uh, low, mids, and highs, which is basically, if you look at it, kind of like a stereo. You have your high, usually you have bass and treble. Well, this has a mid, too, which, you know, you kind of hear kind of the mid adjustment right there. Just an added thing that your stereos don't have unless you have a graphic equalizer. You have a bright switch and a level to turn up to 10 and annoy your neighbors. Uh, we have a reverb here, and if you listen to reverb, sounds like you're in a big hall. And uh, that's what the reverb's for. I keep it down pretty low. Then we have a, a chorus, a thing called a chorus here. And I usually like the chorus sound because it kind of sweeps between. This is a stereo amplifier. It has two speakers. So when you hit the chorus, it kind of phases in and out between the two uh, speakers. If you listen in, you hear that. That's with the chorus on, and this is with it off. Can you hear a big difference? Uh, anyhow, that's uh, pretty much amplification. Of course, you need a cord to connect your amplifier and your guitar. And uh, some of you people out there are probably saying, I can't believe this guy's going this basic. But we're talking about beginning guitar. Uh, for the beginners that uh, don't know this, uh, I want to cover all bases for everybody. And all the rest of you people, just hang in tight because there's something for you. Tuning, our favorite part, uh, what we're going to do here, first of all, we're going to talk about the different uh, strings. We have uh, E, A, E, A, D, G, B, and E. And uh, saying that I used to tell my students in Las Vegas, uh, I don't do drugs at all. And uh, the best way to, for, that, I've, that they seem to remember it is every acid dealer gets busted eventually. Every acid dealer gets busted eventually. Of course, that's the first consonant or vowel in front of that saying. Uh, anyhow, what we're going to do is go up to the fifth fret on this guitar, which is the, the third marker here. And you, you're going to hit an A. You're going to hit it on the E string, you're going to hit an A. So what you're doing is you're matching an A to an A. So if you listen here, let's put this a little bit out of tune so you understand the difference. Hear how that's out of tune, or well, we're going to match the pitch on that. Now I have the distortion on right now. It's a lot easier to tune with the distortion for me because you can hear the fluctuation and the fluttering between the two. Uh, never tune with your chorus on because if you tune with your chorus on, you'll hear how it kind of changes the note and already flutters it around. You want to have all your effects or your little toys that you might hook up to your guitar off when you tune. So anyhow, let's tune her on the cleaner side because some people don't have distortion on their amplifiers. You can hear the difference, how that matches. Then we're going to go to the fifth fret here on the, on the fifth string, which is A, and we're going to... Now you hear how that's out a little bit. Going to match the two up. And it's easier to tune underneath the note. For instance, if if you're a little sharp on that, you can try to bring it down, and you'll go like this for days. I mean, I've been playing for half my life, and believe me, you can tune for days trying to come down to the note. It's a lot easier to go underneath the note. It's 
See how this, there's no more fluttering? Okay. And we're going down to the next string, which is on the fifth fret again, and we're matching up the G to the G. Now that was a little sharp. What we're going to do is go underneath it. So we'll tune it down flat, meaning lower, like a flat tire. Um, we're going to go underneath that and come sharp. Now this is sharp right here, and you can hear the difference. Sharp is above, and flat is below. When you're sharp, it means like, for instance, if you go out on a date or something, you're looking very sharp, or you're looking a little bit above normal, and we, sharp is a little bit above normal, so. Here, that matches up. Okay, now we're gonna tune the next string, which is a B string. You have to move your finger down to the fourth fret on this, this string here. Seems to be in tune, but I'll show you how you have to go underneath the note to match it. Close enough for rock and roll. Okay, and now we're going to go up to the next string, which is on, we're going to go back up to the fifth fret on the second string to match the E. It's a little bit out, a little flat. Now, we're in tune. Now, a lot of times, some other people use different types of tuners. For instance, there's a, uh, this is a matrix tuner, this is a lower end tuner, but it works just, just the same. Uh, there's different, different um, tunings on here now. And on the Slaughter record, we tuned down t a whole step. So in other words, the, the whole guitar was tuned down a whole step or a lot lower, let's put it that way. And uh, so sometimes when you're playing along with the record, you'll notice that there's different tunings. Not everybody sticks to a tuner. They go down lower, and sometimes if you're listening to one track, it might be tuned higher or lower or whatever. But this is pretty much a, a safe, safe proof way of doing it. In fact, we use this tuner right back here. This is the one that we use on the road, the Korg tuner, that we have in the back in the racks. There's all types of different tuners. This one has a LED, which is a light in one, and this one is uh, the needle tuner. And uh, pretty much you can tune up with these a lot easier. You can find out from your music store, uh, as far as getting one of those, makes life a lot easier. And if you're having problems tuning with what we just talked about, your guitar might not be intonated correctly, which is the relationship of where your bridge is and stuff, and uh, your music store can help you out on that, as well as a tuner. Now let's go on for some lessons. <laughs>